Hi guys! Um, today I wanted to show you what I did with my TV stand. In my last video I showed you my kitchen but I also mentioned how my next project was my TV stand. So I decided to um, just paint it and kind of help it match the um, room. Um, this is what it looks like and I decided to paint it white and just give it a new fresh look. So let's jump on in and I'll show you what I did. Okay, um, I have a sander. Well, I had a sander and I misplaced it and I've been looking for months for it and couldn't find it. So my mother gifted me a new sander. So thank you, mom. Um, as you can see, I'm sanding the uh, TV stand right now. I actually got this TV stand off of Craigslist two years ago and I think I paid $25 for it. And I never really did anything to it until now. So I'm just sanding to get the shine off so the paint could adhere to it. Um, while I was sanding, I realized I didn't take the doors off, so I am taking the doors off right now. And one of the screws actually fell between the um, two planks of wood. So, but thankfully, I have screws that um, I have all kinds of size screws, so I found one that would fit. And um, yeah, so then when I was looking underneath, I noticed that the shells were screwed in because I thought I had to sand them with the shells on, and so I ended up taking those off. And that made my job a whole lot easier when it came to sanding and painting. This is my first coat of primer. Um, it wasn't too bad. I'm debating if I should put a second coat by the side. I'm just going to do one coat and just start painting and just get everything ready to go for the um, paint. One of the downfalls of painting outside is that you get little animals. That's a bee. Its wings are painted. That's the only downfall of painting outside, but that's not going to stop me. Okay, so this is the first coat of paint I did. Um, I'm definitely gonna put on a second coat and I'm gonna debate about putting on a third coat. Um, here, I decided to um, cover the windows of the doors um, because I don't wanna have a lot of cleanup and so this just makes cleanup easier because I don't want paint on the glass and I have to worry about getting that off. So I'm masking the doors off, the windows off. I really thought I was in frame when I recorded this, but I am painting the shelves right now. And I decided that I don't want the, um, I'm not going to paint the back of them because you're not going to even see them. So there's no need for me to do extra work to just uh, paint the back. Okay, I decided to use these knobs. Um, about three years ago, I went to Home Depot, get some stuff for a project I was doing back then. And I came across these knobs in the clearance section. I kid you not, these knobs were a penny each. What can you get for a penny this day and age? I was so excited. There was 23 of them, and I took them all. I don't usually do that, but I just love them. And so I've used them in past projects, and so I came across them, and I was like, oh, this would probably look good with the on the TV stand. So I decided to use them, and I think it came out awesome. It looks so good. It gives it a unique look. This is the finished product. It looks so nice. I really love the knobs because it's not your typical gold or silver knobs. It's something that's unique and different. Um, I love the way the TV stand came out. It makes the room look brighter and I think it looks so great in my space. Okay guys, um, I think it looks so good. Um, I just love the way it looks in my space. It makes the room look uh, lighter. It's funny because my mom came over and she was like, your TV screen seems lighter or brighter now. I was like, well, probably because the TV stand has been painted from dark to light. But who knows? But anyway, um, I think it came out great. Um, I, I realized this project cost me nothing because I used the leftover paint from my kitchen makeover, which um, that video I'll link down below. And the knobs I had... And, you know, you shop your house first. I always say that. Shop your house first before you start going out and buy stuff. Because you'd be surprised what you can find. Um, but again, like I was saying, if you come across things for dirt cheap... Now, I'm not trying to tell you to be a hoarder. Please do not be a hoarder. But because I'm a, D I'm a DIYer, I, I'm always in Home Depot. I'm always in, you know, some type of craft store, you know. And... If you see something like how I found the knobs for literally a penny, you know, pick them up. You never know when you'll use them again. So, um, again, I'm not telling you to be a hoarder. Don't just buy stuff just to have if you're not going to use them. But, um, yeah, if you see things like that on sale and you know you can use them in the future, um, I suggest buying it. But that's just my opinion. 
you do what you want you know that's just me uh, but guys, thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, please hit that subscribe button down below. And guys, until we meet again, have a very blessed day.